Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Victoria 2 campaign as the United States. Now, infrastructure-wise, there's very little else that we can upgrade. We've got some CSA stuff down here that I could upgrade. And the capitalists might build them anyway. We're currently expanding the railroads that we took, the land that we took from Mexico. Yeah, I don't like this army that they've got up here. Got all these men nearby. Let's go through and expand all the forts to the north. Hell, I might as well just expand them everywhere. Especially, um, actually, yeah, along the border between the CSA. We're already at level one, but let's do it again. That's CSA territory. I want such a huge disparity between the toys that they get and the toys that I get. We get guns. They, they don't. Cherokee have a core here. Yeah. And we'll build them on the border between us and, and Mexico as well. Heck, I'm just going to build them on the entire perimeter of the country. Oh my goodness, I spent all of our money. 500,000 pounds. Sweet, dude. Well, work, people. Get to work. Oh, right. Speaking of people, I do want more military. I want to build some engineers. They provide... Siege 1. I think, if we have an army selected... That's this number. Siege efficiency. This army contains zero engineer and tank brigades out of a needed 1.7, giving it a siege efficiency of zero. So having just one engineer in the army would be good. It'd be better than none, but ideally we would want two. So let's train up, build army, engineers. Let's get some Yankee engineers. One there. Unfortunately, they're all Dixie. What the hell? Get some more Yankee engineers here. I want four. Two for each army. And what is the uh, the supply weight? Supply limit 49. Supply limit 49. So this army is actually too large. Do engineers go in the front row or the back row? It said engineers have support. Which generally means that they attack from the back row. Support 50%. Support 250%. Yeah, they're going to be in the, in the back row. Alright, if that's the case, then I am going to... Maybe I do remove two artillery. Ultimately, I want them to be... Actually, you know... You know what? We could have an army that's dedicated to combat and an army that's dedicated to sieging. And then just have one that's got the engineers. Hmm. Create new unit. Let's let's pull two artillery out. To be replaced over here. Okay, so you engineers all rally to you know what, actually, everyone go here. We'll organize it soon. It's not like we have to go to war yet. Well, I say that and we'll probably get an event. Ooh, any all commercial retailers until 1935 get farming efficiency. New York, new store in Sioux City. The new store in Sioux City will increase the efficiency of the local farms. Really?
Cool. Who gets this thing? Commercial retail. Farming efficiency 50%. Commercial retailers, plus 50%. Sweet. I don't think this makes very much, though, but... Hmm. A new store in Cleveland. Another one. Sweet. This is an event that I like. So this artillery, if it goes over here, we end up with 10. I tell you what, I'm going to go through my military, and I'm going to see if there are any artillery that don't have reinforcement. We've got one. Reinforces at 50% speed. I'm just thinking about disbanding two artillery in favor of the engineers. But then again, we're, you know, we have room. I just can't really support two. I, my stacks can't be this big. But I don't want to have three stacks. Hmm. No, I'm not going to disband any troops. We'll just wait. Paraguay. Keep on liking me, please. You're already at 200. We've got you to cordial. Oh, evidently we've been discredited. How come I didn't get a pop-up about that? Nation is on another continent. Other national investors, minus 50%. See, I'm not getting very good efficiency here at all. It's really bad. What if I, um, maybe I should build a factory in Portugal. The likelihood of pulling Spain away is pretty low, I think, but I could I could build stuff, right? Am I ever gonna go to war with Portugal? How much would it actually cost me to build a factory here? Fourteen thousand pounds. I don't really have very much money right now. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put a huge amount of effort into it. I'm just curious. See how it works. And it is January the 1st, 1860. So interesting things could happen soon. I don't know. I mean, that's what people keep telling me. And if they don't, then I'm going to go to war with Mexico. Truce until next year, October. Global factions. We've got six American anarcho liberals. Hmm. We almost have breech loaded rifles. Well, either way, I mean, something interesting is going to happen soon. Either we get to start colonizing as much as possible, or um, we go to war with the CSA. Hopefully when we go to war with the CSA, we stop getting all these stupid pop-ups about copperheads. And this stupid society. They are trying to build railroad in, in Alabama. In Mississippi. That's in the south, I know that. M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S -S See, I can even spell it. Isn't that crazy? I can't find it on a map. Somewhere on the river. The river. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I care more about, like... These events are annoying and boring and stupid. Everything about them is just stupid. 
Uh, okay, um, I want to I wanna know how the factories are going. Like, are they doing what I asked them to do? Michigan. Sort by, it is sorted by name. Let's find Michigan. Yes, good. We have a furniture factory in Michigan. Good, good, good. I'm still going to encourage more wood industry there. And then what about up here? What's going on in New England? We've got the paper mill. There's 2,800 people working there. You know what I feel like I still need is I need more clerks. We've got plenty of clergymen. Let's encourage some clerks now. Let's go to the national focus map mode, which is O. No, it's P. And let's just change these over. I want clerks. And we'll do this for a little while. Highest population areas. Clerks. Stop worrying about the wood industry. Stop worrying about the... Oh, the basic industry in Missouri. Let's go check that out, too. Missouri. Missouri. Okay, did we end up with anything in Missouri? We have a glass factory. Not exactly what I had in mind, but okay. What's this red mean? You suffering attrition? What are you guys doing? Like, you're not dying, right? You're safely rounding the coast, I hope. Because all units are 100% fit, but... Okay, here it is. I think this is it. This is the one. A house divided. A house divided against itself cannot stand. I believe this government cannot endure permanently. Have half slave, half free. I do not expect the union to be dissolved. I do not expect the house to fall, but I do expect it will cease to be divided. It will become all one thing or all the other. Abraham Lincoln. It is over. All attempts to, at compromise, the efforts of decades of public discourse on the issues issue of slavery have failed. This morning, the congressmen from the southern states resigned their offices, and the slave states declared cessation from the perpetual union. The states of Missouri and Maryland, along with the west part of Virginia, have declared themselves for the union, and Washington, D.C. is under the control of union troops. A southern wind blows hard on our house divided. Three cheers, three rousing cheers for the union, or advance the flag of Dixie, hurrah. Either way, we declare war on the CSA. Country changes to the CSA. Okay, so I get to choose which side I want to be on, basically. Yeah, we're going to declare war on the CSA. Let's do it. You bastards. What the hell is this? Wait a minute, did I pick the wrong one? Don't tell me I picked the wrong one. Okay. Oh, whoo, it's a ha. <laughs> Just freaked myself out. Like, terrible. Okay, I saw 48, and it's like got a red border around it, which made me think, okay, wait a minute. There are, we're hostile to them. But no, there's a first army here. Of, um... The CSA. Okay, well, let's, um, first off, let's, let's go to our budget, and let's full maintenance. I, I don't think we need full maintenance on the Navy, because this Navy is all mine still. So the CSA is here. Let's, um, go to the recruitment map mode, which was O. Let's set a naval rally point here now instead. I think my ships lost their, uh, yeah, they seem to have lost their orders. 
because the rally point was in a location that is now hostile. So we'll tell them to move, and then we'll take our first fleet out. And we'll blockade. And I didn't get a chance to organize my engineers yet. We immediately start sieging. We immediately start fighting. Got Richard Barnard in charge. He is technically considered the aggressor. So leader attack plus one. They have no commanders. They get leader defense minus two. We've already won a battle against them. I don't know who... That must have been one of the final remaining Dixie troops or something. So these are just artillery. And... Um, I guess they get to go join this army now. We don't have the... Oh, hey, we've discovered muzzle-loaded rifle armament. Our units take more consumption, but they've all gained attack values. Great. This is going to be a complete stomp of a war, I think. We're not very well organized, but neither are they. We've won the Siege of Louisville. Louisville. 11 days. We've got Henry Beatty in charge, our favorite dude. Okay, I'm not going to worry, I think, about just going straight for armies. I'm going to advance one space at a time and take their provinces. But I really wanted those engineers. We don't have the necessary goods. We need small arms and explosives and we can't apparently get them. Okay, well... I suppose in the meantime, this the artillery could go end up with the other army again and just pretend like they're engineers. Let's use the supply limit map mode, which was G. Supply limit 41 with U.S. Dragoons at 44. So we'll suffer some attrition, but yeah, let's keep moving in. Yeah, they are raising up troops quick. Did they, um... Let's see, North America, the CSA... Show Wars... War Exhaustion... Their Casa Spelli... Restore Order, Acquire Core... The War of the Rebellion... Their, their thing is status quo, ours is Unite the Union. So Unite the Nation, fulfilled in 7.3%, okay? To accomplish this, we need to siege territory. We just have to conquer 75% of their lands. Seems pretty easy to do, considering how quickly we're sieging things. I do want to engage that 18 stack if I can. Nine days for that province. You'll be gone by the 18th. I will be in Lexington on the 27th. Why can't we march directly to it? Or maybe that's just the way that it looks. Yeah, we're going to go kill that 18 stack before it gets any bigger. The attrition here is going to be really brutal, but it's only going to take a couple days. And then we'll get the hell out of there. We have uh, finished breech-loaded rifles. Cool. Excellent. Now we just need to wait for the invention, colonial negotiations. Next tech is probably going to want to be some uh, railroad or something. 1870. Damn. Cheap iron. Let's just get the steam turbine. More mining and farming sounds good. Or maybe we should get associationism. More experience on our units. Tensions in Portugal. Um, influence with Portugal changed by five or lose some prestige. Take the infamy. I'm not going to back off on Portugal. I'm not going to lose prestige like ever. I'd rather have infamy than lose prestige. All right, well, I'm going to take a break here. In the next video, we will kick the CSA's butt and restore the union and abolish slavery. 
Thanks for watching, everyone. See you again soon.